for example entire population of india suppose if you want to sell soaps can you survey each and every person in the city to conclude whether you can sell a particular category of soaps or not no you cannot survey each and every person in the city right it's not possible so what do you do what is the best alternate you have you take a subset you take a sample and survey a few people right movie reviews how it happens do you take the review of each and every person who has attended a movie to comment on the movie no you take a sample the person who comes from the theater you take a few and some people will not even answer they just go all right you take some samples election polls exit polls is it possible to take the exit poll from everyone no okay so you have to take a sample so if you see the population that will also form a distribution like this the sample will also form a distribution like this so this is the population this is the sample so we have some parameters for population and we will have the word mu i am introducing some greek characters now okay mu is the population mean and sigma is the standard deviation for the population so when you use mu and sigma it means it refers to the population parameters similarly for the sample x bar and s so mu is equivalent to this one and this one one is for population one is for sample and this is a standard deviation for population and this is denoted for standard deviation for the hope this is clear right so samples from a population can be used to infer or approximate population parameters thus it's called inferential statistics now standard deviation i said for the sample it is yes correct so the formula for this is every sample how much it deviates from the average okay for example if i am drawing a line like this let me just draw it for you i have a line like this okay and i have a line like this okay now i might have one point here one point here one point here one point here and one point here okay now i see that what is x bar x bar is the average for the sample okay sample mean now you see this x bar this is deviating from here right let me change the color you see there is a deviation from here right from here from this point it is deviating here so this is positive deviation right it is varying this particular point is positively but here if you see this it is negatively so this difference for example the, if this is 5 okay and this is 2 okay so the difference is 3 here and if this is 5 and this is 1 here the difference here is 4 so this is what i mean this x bar whatever i'm saying is 5 here okay and xi is whatever it is 2 or 1 or whatever right so this difference squared whenever you squared the positive and negative will the resultant will be positive only right the square of that there will be no uh, if it is 5 3 minus 5 is minus 2 squared is 4 so the sum of all that divided by n minus 1 the sample standard deviation is denoted by s the formula has two differences the sample averages replaces the population average n minus 1 replaces n that's the only difference if it is going to be mu it will be n because the population n minus 1 there is something called degree of freedom it is called df or dof degrees of freedom suppose if you have five boys average weight of five boys you know in the class you are given the weight of only four boys can you find out the, the weight of the fifth boy yes or no let me give another example you are given five apples okay the average weight of five apples is 1 kg okay 
I know the weight of each apple. Four apples. The first apple is twenty kgs. The second apple is twenty kgs. Third apple is twenty kgs. The average weight of apple is twenty kgs. So, I know the weight of four apples. Can I calculate the weight of the fifth apple? You can write. So, whenever you take a sample, you put minus one because the last. This is called degrees of freedom. If there are five samples, okay. If there are five units, then there are four degrees of freedom. And this is statistics. Do not worry about that. Okay, my request is: do not worry about that. Just use this formula. Whereas, if it is a population, population is supposed to be infinite. Okay, n is supposed to be tending to infinity, so minus one does not make much difference there. Okay, and that's the reason for sample you put n minus one. So this excise are individual observations that I showed in the graph here, and then. X bar is the average of the sample, and n is the sample size.